Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Level Lemon, and today we're back to playing Deponia, the complete journey version. So, last time we got through the tutorial and the first part of the game, and we pulled off our harebrained scheme to get aboard the flying city of Elysium. And now we're back to the game. So, let's get right back into it. And, like I said before, there is no more... Well, I'm not going to be doing the director's commentary anymore. As I feel, even though it's super cool, it slows down the game a bit too much. Oof, what a maneuver. Hey, my suitcase is here too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. I don't think half the things he plans is actually planned. You're not gonna take your toothbrush? Yeah, I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. A well-oiled gearbox. Hmm. Ouch, the wire's cutting into my flesh. I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here got a bolt cutter? Oh, you mean the one you left behind? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Not a chance. I'd need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. Hmm, what do we have on us? A pair of socks? It already has plenty of oil stains. Hmm. Here we go. Hey! Aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Huh. Interesting. Let's see if we can tamper with anything don't else. Play with food. Unless it's really funny. You don't play with, unless it's real. I'll never be able to open. The shape reminds me of something. Hey! Aggress- Hmm. The maintenance arm's behind there. What else can I do? Doesn't seem like I can go anywhere. I'll save my telekin. I'll save. My I'll save my telekinetic. Hmm. The colors must have something to do with the conveyor belts. I mean, yeah. I'm assuming the colors turn on different conveyor I'll belts. I'll save my tel. It already. Ha hmm. The only guess I can take is this. Hey, aggressive little bugger. Hmm. As long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Hmm. Interesting. How do we Hmm. As long as that. Oh, hold on. Okay, what if we use. And then. Could use this on the hatch, maybe? Huh. 
That actually worked. Ha! <laughs> I am the Wasabi P in the gearbox of the Organon. Hmm. On the hatch? Yeah, I'm getting dirt, but I better leave it. What about this one? Oh. This is unbelievable. This is just impossible. I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you suffering from vertigo, Miss Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Go. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke, a real Orbit Pixie. I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go. Rufus to the rescue. May I say, he's an idiot. She's really hot. She really suits me. She's really, she... One step closer and mayhem will ensue. Hmm. Ha <laughs> Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Uh-oh. Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon! Men, throw him overboard! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. Uh, You're an idiot. Uh-uh. Oh, this place looks kind of cool. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. No, I would... I would argue you're just an idiot. Hmm. Locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. Hmm. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh. Well, that could spell anything. Uh, and we have nothing on us. Let's check out everything out here. And then go inside. Ah, oh, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! Huh. If anything, he seems even more bored now. You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Oh, we can fast travel by double clicking. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. That just seems really stupid. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Okay, town hall first. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting, <clears throat> oh, draw a waiting number and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. 
Yeah? Well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. Oh, God. Number 66. Almost my lucky number. Oh, God. If his number is 69, I swear. Everyone, just one number! Spoil sport. Yeah, spoil sportress, I guess. Ah, uh, magnets. Oh. Mikak? Gonzo? Lobo? Mail office, assembly hall, post office, opening hours, Lottie. Who's her? The post office will be open o'clock. O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Interesting. Every office needs a good soul. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. <laughs> Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> You too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. Always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy! Hussy! <laughs> I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. How many people actually hate this guy? I want to see the mayor. Everyone, <laughs> everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you- Your number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzo. Wenzel is also applying, but Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! Is it my turn already? No. Number 62 is still up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! <laughs> I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Stop right there! The post <clears throat> The post office is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! I'm not gonna lie. I think Lottie is one of my favorite characters so far. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. You're the one who put her in this mess. Rufus, oh. do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Oh my lord. 
he's... Perfect. That's enough. Do what? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Oh, God. Hey, Gold! Gold! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, Doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. Oh, God. I'm not going to bother him anymore. It's not going to help. Oh. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for and why my face is on some of them. Oh, they're for darts. The balloons seem to. I want to. Okay, so that's just. Um. Okay, let's head out for a sec. Stop, Rock! Where do you. I'll go to Elysium with gold. In that case, you're in the wrong place. This door leads to the mayor's office and access is strictly by numbers only so draw a number or bugger off <laughs> uh the man wants to decide what was to go now nice hats i'll skedaddle i'll skedaddle eh, i don't find the conversations with him interesting tony shop Oh. Work. Yeah, right. She's just sitting there twiddling her thumbs. I can do that too. Looks like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, oh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, well, well. Look who's back. If it isn't evil Knievel. The man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres. And yet, here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh, but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. I'll show you. I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium. And then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. <sighs> I will say, he might be an idiot, but they do make fun of him a lot. To the point where I think it's kind of cool. Oh. How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Oh, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, devastated my backyard, Gobble down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh, nothing. I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? I'll pay you back. Really? Oh. Eh, yeah, we've gone down that road. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, 
and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Ugh. Yeah, he's an idiot. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself again? Not yet. Too bad. You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. They really don't like each other. Hands off my stuff. What? I'm just browsing. Browsing is what paying customers do. What you mean is driving me nuts. Hmm. Weights, anchors, metal boots, hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. Please tell me this bug there. There isn't even one crumb left. Seems like I have to find my own ingredients. I mean, obviously? This is where Tony's budgie cage used to hang. But he couldn't cope with her, so he skedaddled. He died of old age. Yeah, whatever you say. After you accidentally oh. infected him with progeria. Y you know, I like my version better. God, how? Do you mess up that bad? Hmm, I guess exploring town is all we're doing. Hello? I want to report a crime. Hello? Great, Inspector Gizmo seems to be out. But as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. Hmm. This is Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled, because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Is Rufus a hey, man child? Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who has it? This wouldn't have anything to do with you, by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. Ah. <sighs> uh, yeah, I will say, Rufus does... comes across kind of like a man-child to me. Is that just me, or like... Is it just his idiocy? Uh, I don't know. I kind of hope it's something that wears away over time. I don't really want that to be a constant trait. It's a little annoying. Uh, that's just me though. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No. You're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. Though, then again, I understand how everyone, the reason why people treat Rufus the way they do, but, ah, uh, God, it's kind of annoying in the same aspect. 
that Rufus is annoying for his own behavior. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number. But then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance. But like this. <sighs> By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvak's built on with this very rod. Yeah? Well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Hey, maybe you can find water with the divining rod. And where, pray tell, would I start to look? In my basement? I should say that's highly improbable. Later. Exactly. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. And once I'm rich... We'll split 50-50. <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. Hmm. I'm surprised they even let us in the basement. If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now. Hmm. Well, we have magnets, a waiting number of balloons. Hmm. I feel like I need something else. Hmm. A bonus. Hmm. I'll come back. There is two more place three actually that we could visit. Tony's house. Oh that's where the tunnel leads. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything here yet. Water reservoir, pipe. Yeah, let's go this way. Whoa! This brings water to the houses, or with fluid nitrogen, depending on the escape plan. Hmm. Wenzel has attached a protective cover to his chimney. What an egomaniac! Where am I supposed to practice spitting now? Whoa! Hmm. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Hello, Hennick. Hennick. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, how about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. Oh. I actually already have magnets. But I'm trying to think. Why would you need magnets in a detonation plan? To be honest, that doesn't make much sense. Unless there's something I'm not thinking of or know about. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. 
Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. Yeah, I knew it. Actually, that is actually kind of interesting. I didn't know you could use magnets like that. Then again, it is a game, so I don't know how realistic it is. Still, really cool. Uh, doing down here. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Oh. So, they used to use... Oh, it's a small type of bird. I think a parakeet or something. And they would hold, keep it in the cage on a stick. And if the parakeet were to act strangely or die, then the miners would know that there's probably toxic fumes and not to continue. You can also do something similar with silver, though that is a little more specific, if I'm remembering correctly, to any chemical that is a sul that has sulfur in it, if I remember correctly. Because the sulfur, when it touches the silver, will react and make it black, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk. And so, pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, most trash, he's right, is probably just trash. But if you can actually refine the materials that went into the trash, so for example, with keys, that's probably mostly just steel. So, if you can actually melt that back down into an ingot, you could... Well, it's more complicated than that, because you'd probably make it back into iron, but then you'd have to recarbonize it. But if you can do all that, you could actually have a useful product that you could actually build with, which is actually kind of cool. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Uh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel. 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 No, I don't think I got your key. Tony. Let me think. Tony. 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 No, I don't think I got your key. Rufus. Let me think. Rufus. 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 No, I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done. Anything else? Hmm. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh, Rufus. Exactly. That actually makes me think... We need someone's name? Hey, why aren't you working? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. We already know. <laughs> oh. Curiosity. I don't know where any of this goes. I'll just play some. Underneath, um, Kuvak, Labyrinth of 
junk tunnel with scavengers like Hennig, search for spare parts. Do 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 Skipping text, da 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 da. Bounces at those with explosives into the surface. The only thing is, Trimmers keep setting off alarm systems all over the tower. Rufus can detonate explosives by marking three areas on the map, and using the bell afterwards is not only great fun, comes incredibly handful, like Rufus had a good plan. Okay. Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Interesting. Nice parrot. Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> hello. Oh, no. Hello, hello. Ah, I'm starving. I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. I kind of feel bad for the parrot. Ah, Rufus. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo, I, uh, I planned to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. Hey, at least Lonzo's kind of nice to him. Which is actually kind of nice to see. What's that supposed to be? Is Lonzo building a cactus press? Or a faster mixer? Impossible. He would surely have asked me to help. No, pretty sure he wouldn't. Oh, I can't use it. Ah! Lonzo? Yeah? Hmm. Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. <laughs> okay, you know what? At least his sarcasm doesn't come out across as, like, assholey. It's actually kind of funny. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a fraud. Oof. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Tony really gets on my nerves. Well, that's your version. Wait, did she come here too? Someone had to pay for the table you broke yesterday. Yeah, that was an awesome performance, wasn't it? Look at me! I'm Tony! Scold, scold, scold! Wine! Fret, fight, scream! <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfect impression. <sighs> Dang. I really want to know what happened between the two. Like, from beginning to end, why they started dating and why they're not anymore. Oh, God. You won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So why don't you keep your story to yourself this time? But it's got everything. Action, drama, romance. Oh, a dragon, too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, yes, there really was a dragon. Too late. Damn. <laughs> I have to go. Adventure awaits. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever. It does seem 
maybe Tony does care a little bit, but I don't know how. The emergency station is closed for lunch? Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear power propelled satellite could crash into Kuvac, or the Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? It does seem Tony does care a little bit about Rufus, but I don't know if it's actual care or if she's just cleaning up his messes. I honestly don't know. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, Ruf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, see, Rufus. Hey. Hmm. I want to keep that. Let's move this over here, I guess. Hmm. I'll throw this one here. Oh, the blast signal. Take. I want to see what happens. Oh. Hear me out. I think we have to have everything go off. So maybe that. That and I'm thinking here. One more try. If not, oh, the blast signal. Oh, only one went off this time. Oh no, two did two. Oh no, I didn't mean to do the blast signal. Yeah, only two went off. Fascinating. Well, the question is, how do I make them all go off? Here? Hmm. I've only had one foot oh, every spot. The blast signal. Take. Hmm. We did get a few that time. I have a feeling that's not in the right place, though. Maybe? Maybe they're not supposed to be on the corners. Maybe it's more like this? Oh! The blast signal! Take up. Interesting. Hmm. I guess I can come back to it. Hmm. Anyways, let's check out Tony's house. Ouch! Hot. And then we'll go from there, I guess. <laughs> ah! Fire in the inventory! Fire in the inventory! Ooh, wish I had some kind of protection suit. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I intrigue myself. What wickedness can I perpetrate here? Oh, the lockpick. That's piss. The only thing to drink on the planet. Huh. Not true. Luckily, I'm not susceptible to advertising. Huh. I could do with a steak now. He's bloated, he's useless, and he has a sponge in his kitchen. This reminds me of the fireworks last New Year's Eve. The plan with the balloons was just great. It was, uh, <laughs> just on the wrong day. Number 66! Hmm. Is that a hint? Oh my god, what in the seven healths? A hint? 
trick Wenzel into believing there's a water vein in his basement. Oh, okay. I mean, that was kind of already the plan. Just working on it. Oh, God. This is such a convoluted plan. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I'm assuming we need to fill the water balloons anyways. <laughs> the drinking water is so brackish that things get cleaner by not washing them. <laughs> I was hoping to fill them up, actually. But... Lockpick. Luckily, I'm a gifted lockpicker. Damn, that would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. Hmm... Can I actually do it here? <laughs> the drinking water is so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telescope, old escape plans. Nothing really here, unfortunately. There is some stuff though. Funnel, the torch. Hmm. Okay, I will admit, Rufus is kind of smart. If you could actually get his ego in check and focus on something productive, he could actually be quite successful. And I suppose that is something that is kind of annoying. But, I don't know. Okay, the dot is the only thing I can think. I don't need any more target practice. I'm ready for the- Oh god. It doesn't have to be siphon. I don't know. What are you thinking? Come on. It can't be that hard to blow up. I mean, I manage all the time. <laughs> okay, that is kind of funny. Never! My inventory could burn, and Tony is not going to mend it again. Oh. This could be useful. Usually I'd say funnels are for cowards, but after my third exploded tank... Fair. It's probably good to have. Hmm... Hey, Wenzel, what's up? Um... I want my heirloom back. A deal is a deal. Oh, come on. We're friends, aren't we? And friends stay true to their word. Oh, yeah? And that's written down where, exactly? Just forget it. Late. Exactly. He does have a point. If you say something to a friend, you should probably, like, follow through on it. Ah. Uh... It's kind of hard not to agree with them. I don't want to waste all of my explosive mojo at once. Really? Huh. Maybe this is something I'm just gonna have to, like, sit back and, like, think about? Hmm. I guess there's still some people in the town hall. I could talk to... Mostly just these three, but could be useful. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter. Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? 
Rufus? Rufus. Huh? Oh, what? Hmm. The girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Okay, I will admit that does I really don't like that line. Like, no one belongs to anyone, okay? Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. Yeah, he's an idiot. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Hmm. That is a fair point. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. No, really, let me go first. Listen, Rufus, a minute ago that was a nice little joke, but now it's half annoying. And half sad. Hmm. I'll skedaddle. I didn't... I guess I should talk to him. Dr. Gizmo? What now? I do. Whoever does the voice acting for Dr. Gizmo, it's amazing. I think it's one of my favorite voices so far. Um, what are you waiting for, helper? I'm gonna report an emergency. I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? Fire, properly. Fire! Impossible! My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. Robbery! Impossible! My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person, and that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvac is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or at least, that's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. Hmm. See, that kind of reinforces my idea that I had earlier, that Rufus is actually kind of intelligent. Just that it's unguided or chaotic. Huh. I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Hmm. Do you have a stimulant for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office, but no one except me is allowed to access it. We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. Hmm. That's actually quite interesting. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But- No. Bummer. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. His office. I wonder. Where is it? Hmm. I guess it's... Oh! Hold up. I want to try something. So it's supposed to go off 
under his place, right? Maybe something like this'll do. Oh, the blast signal. Did that work? Doubt it, yeah. But hmm. If I want to drill a hole into the pipe, I'll need a different tool. Okay, that's actually useful. Boy, it's attached firmly. Hmm. I need to drill a hole in the pipe. Hmm. Might be something that I just need to think about. Tony's shop. Own hall. I don't understand the water reservoir aspect. Unless I have to get rid of the chimney somehow. I don't know. Hmm. I guess for now, I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna think about what I should do in the next one. But for now, I can't really think of anything. It's like putting all the pieces together. Um. But. Hmm. Yeah, this is one thing I'm not good at puzzle games sometimes. Like, when I do put the pieces together, I bang out like bam bam bam. And just like... Have like a good streak. But then when I get stuck... I kind of like feedback loop myself. And it's hard to get out of that. But... Um, I think it's fine. At least for now. I'll figure out what I have to do in the next part and continue from there so anyways thank you for tuning into the frequency this is the web lemon signing off so good night and sweet nightmares <laughs>